Welcome to Informatica Power Center uh, training program. So in this uh, session, we'll try to understand about uh, what are the different Informatica, po Informatica co products are there and what are its uses, we'll try to understand that. So basically, when we talk about uh, Informatica uh, products, we'll have to understand where these products are from. So Informatica Corporation is the one, okay, it is a company where it has uh, uh, given more uh, products, it has a wide range of products uh, that are there in the current market, uh, so that are playing a key role in the data warehousing environment. So out of which we have, you can see here, there are many products are there, like uh, Informatica Power Center, Informatica Data Quality, Informatica uh, uh, Cloud Data Integration, B2B uh, Data Exchange, uh, you have Master Data Management, Data Visualization, and you can see data masking. So these are all the products uh, that are uh, released by Informatica Corporation. So Informatica Corporation is, uh, uh, was founded in 1991 in the Redwood City of Los Angeles uh, in California and it has uh, released various uh, business components uh, that are playing key role in the data warehousing environment uh, that we have it. So let's uh, try and understand each tool, uh, uh, each product, uh, uh, what is their usage and uh, we'll try to understand more of that. So when we talk about Informatica Power Center, so Informatica Power Center is basically it's a uh, it's a data integration platform that we have uh, that allows the organization to access the data from any kind of source system, transform the data into a homogeneous format, and deliver the data at any speed. So Informatica Power Center it's a uh, ETL tool that we have, uh, uh, which is used by most of the companies uh, that that uh, that uh, does the process of ETL system that does the process of ETL system and uh, you can see these are all the products uh, that we have here so like uh, we have the data quality complex uh, event processing master data management you can see here B2B data exchange you have application ILM which is another tool and you have cloud data integration and you can see uh, so we are going to yes uh, we can do even the ultra messaging uh, system is also there which will allow the uh, which will allow the users to work on them. So when we talk about uh, this uh, cloud data integration, so cloud data integration is nothing but it's like, uh, uh, it's more like uh, uh, you can access the data from the cloud using the, uh, using the power center also you can access the data from the cloud as well as you can even load the data into the cloud system. Right. So the another tool that we have is the Informatica Power Exchange. So when you talk about uh, Informatica Power Exchange, so basically, uh, so Informatica Power Exchange is used along with the Informatica Power Center in order to read the data from some special sources. So when I say special sources, like uh, so by default, Informatica Power Center can uh, connect to the uh, sources, like it can connect to database, it can connect to uh, flat files, it can connect to COBOL sources and it can connect to the XML, right? So for the four uh, uh, systems, it can basically connect uh, by default. So whenever you have the special sources, like uh, when you have the data present in SAP or you have data present in uh, ES400, you have the data in the mainframes, uh, Hadoop. Uh, so for these kind of systems, if power center cannot uh, connect the data power center cannot uh, connect to this, that kind of uh, legacy systems. So in order to read the data from uh, such uh, special sources, we need to have the Informatica Power Exchange, uh, inf Informatica Power Exchange with Informatica Power Center in order to read the data from such kind of systems, right? So basically Power Exchange is uh, uh, also allows you to capture the, uh, capture the change in data and it also provides the real-time support for mainframes, SQL Server, and the uh, Oracle database sources also. So we can uh, connect to, yes, using this power, power exchange, we can connect to any kind of environment. Uh, we can connect to the enterprise application, the Hadoop, or mainframes, a messaging system, or any kind of mid range systems that we have. And we can connect even to the social media networks, uh, uh, like the Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Right? So all those things we can connect. And so when I say mid-range systems, it is like uh, we have the connection adapters for the uh, mid-range systems, uh, which basically provides the access to the enterprise data that is stored in the uh, whatever the uh, OS systems or the OS 400 systems or the uh, i5 i5 OS systems. Right. So we can connect to these kind of systems when we have the when we have the uh, 
informatica power exchange so informatica power exchange it's not a separate tool so it is used along with the informatica power center in order to read the data from the uh, uh, from the uh, special systems uh, that we have it so we have uh, another uh, tool uh, in the informatica power uh, informatica corporation that is released from which is the uh, informatica master data management so when i say master data management so it is an important method uh, for uh, uh, it is an important method of uh, enabling an enterprise to link to all kind of uh, critical data into the master file that that will be the common point of the reference so when i say master data management so it's like uh, uh, we can have the single version of it whenever we have the master data management uh, kind of tools so the main objective of this master data management is that it will provide the yes it will provide the consistent view of the organizational data uh, which any of the data that is scattered across a wide range of applications so we may have a lot of applications uh, the way the data where the data is with it like it could be so we have some order order management application that is running on Oracle Labs. we have some e uh, CRM application which is implement on uh, some other CRM system so we may have data in some legacy applications so basically uh, when you capture the data from uh, different applications whatever data that is present in all these systems may not be in sync may not be in sync maybe the customer data that we have or the employee data that you have may not be in sync so what uh, master data management is going to do is that it will uh, get all the data from all the legacy applications and it will move the data into the centralized place which is called as a MDM hub. So in the MDM hub, so what are the, uh, what are the ch uh, challenges uh, that we have it with all the source system, we are going to fix it in the MDM hub and we are going to update the, uh, update the information back into the all the applications uh, so that they will be in a, so the data will be in sync right so the MDM so what does it do so we are going to maintain the single version of truth which is called as a MDM hub right so the MDM hub will contain the data from all the different applications and it will create a single version of truth which is called as a MDM hub it reads the data from all the different applications and consolidates and updates the data back to the applications that we have it so this is about master data management that we have. So the next uh, tool uh, that we have it uh, uh, is that Informatica data quality application. So what is this Informatica data quality? So the main purpose of uh, the Informatica data quality is that it uh, it performs the data profiling. So when I say data profiling, so basically it is used to identify what can, what quality of data is present in the system. So, Informatica data quality is the tool which gives you the statistics about the quality of the data present in the systems, quality of the data present in the uh, applications of the systems that we have it, right. So, you can see here, uh, uh, you can see here, the let's say we have, uh, uh, we have uh, basically one application is there where it contains all the customer uh, related uh, data is present so let's try and understand how we can profile this data so if you observe this uh, application when we have this data like this you can see uh, when you observe the nullness of this uh, data so we have uh, four null values in this address uh, address column four null values are there and you can see there are different uh, uh, versions of uh, data is also present uh, you can see the mixed version of uh, uh, mixed version of uh, data is there mixed version of uh, cases are there so one is like a San Diego one is like a SD one another one is like San Diego in the upper case so uh, so we have some inconsistent data uh, that we have uh, with this uh, customer data present in this application so uh, what uh, you can do with this uh, is that so the developer of this uh, data quality application so the data quality developer will now apply some of the profiling rules profiling rules to the address columns based on the business rules that are provided to them. So when you apply the business rule uh, to identify the possible inconsistencies in the data, uh, what we can do is that we can correct the data in the source system that we have it. We can correct the data. So we are going to, as a, as a data quality developer, what we do is that uh, we are going to apply some rules and we find out whether this uh, uh, data will satisfy the rules, profiling rules or not. So Informatica data quality basically it provides a number of uh, uh, pre-built rules which can be applied directly to the profile. 
uh, and uh, so we can understand what are the what are the uh, possibilities of the data that we have uh, uh, where we can standardize the values so when coming uh, here so we can see here what uh, we are going to do is that we have applied a rule so that uh, all the data all the incoming data that we have should be in the upper case so we have different cases here mixed cases are there so we'll make sure all the data in the upper case will uh, specify the rule for that and uh, so the second rule is that we are going to standardize the uh, we are going to standardize the values means so we have a different cases here so uh, we have different uh, versions of uh, uh, the state here so one is in san diego one is sd and another one is uh, san diego in the upper case so we have uh, different versions of uh, data which is the inconsistency so applying the, the rule standardization uh, applying the rule standardize here so what we do is that we are going to standardize the data and make that inconsistency into the consistent Right. And after this uh, rule is applied in the profile, whenever you rerun that, so we have to find out what are the valid records and the invalid records that we have. It. So that you can see here, there is another rule that is applied. Right. So for the rule completeness means you are going to understand here uh, how many records are valid and how many records are invalid. Right. So whenever you apply the rules to the data, so whenever the apply the rules to the data when you rerun it you can understand basically how many records are valid and invalid so that uh, you can start drilling down the operations on the invalid record and perform some further analysis and update the source system so once the profiling of the data is completed so all the rules uh, that has been identified are updated so these rules will be physically updated or applied to the data and the inconsistent data will be cleaned in the source system that we have it. So basically this uh, uh, Informatica master data management and Informatica data quality is something that comes before your uh, warehouse uh, process starts. Right? So the data warehouse is the downstream application of this uh, master data management and the in Informatica uh, data quality tool we have uh, two uh, two tools uh, where you can access uh, or where you can uh, develop the mappings right so here also we are going to develop the mappings in order to perform the data standardization right so we there are two tools here one is Informatica developer another one is Informatica analyst so using these two tools we can create the mappings in order to profile the data so what exactly is the bin, uh, business benefits of this uh, Informatica data quality is that so it is a tool that acts as a single platform and it contains the less cost we can uh, prevent some uh, uh, we can prevent some data quality problems so that uh, the data will be more trusted and uh, so we need the trusted data in the business so it basically enhances the IT productivity with uh, uh, powerful business IT collaboration tools and the common data quality project environment so it can uh, basically connect to any kind of uh, source system that you have and uh, so we can apply the uh, data quality rules for any kind of application that we have it right so this is about the different products uh, that are released from informatica corporation thank you